guys! So a couple days ago, I uploaded a video where I rank the species of all tomorrows, a future of humanity. And some people commented uh, that they were very upset with the video because I had gotten the lore wrong. This time I've made sure to thoroughly research the lore of all tomorrows because the last thing I want to do is upset people. The world of all tomorrows begins with humans leaving Earth and exploring the stars. Well, most humans left Earth because there is a group that stayed. The same group that messed it up in the first place. Yes, you know who I'm talking about. White people! White people stayed behind on Earth! Except they weren't called white people. They were called... Colonizers! Now you might be wondering why they look like that in the future. Well, you know how white people press their faces together when they take selfies? Imagine that over millions and millions of years. And they turn into this. The last humans on Earth. They communicate via blockchain, whatever the hell that is. And they went extinct, finally, when Saturday Night Live was canceled. But white people are nothing if not persistent. Some of them survived and evolved into something even more terrifying. I present to you, the Neo Cracker Morphs. Just like the colonizers who came before them, these guys are big Kendrick Lamar fans. They stayed on Earth for a million more years, eventually figuring out space travel. And now, their mission is to gentrify the galaxy one neighborhood Whole Foods at a time. If a farmer's market or a brunch place opens up on your planet, that is the work of the Neo Cracker Morph. So a lot of people in the comments of my last video got mad that I didn't know the backstory of the Gravitals. And after researching these guys, oh boy, they are something. Of course they are descended from the bowling balls on Earth. And I really should have known these guys' superpower because it's right in the name. Of course, they are big fans of Gravity Falls. Now, you might be wondering how this is a superpower, but it's so obvious. They have evolved massive brains in order to grasp the complexity of the lore of Gravity Falls, which is not for kids! Just because it's a cartoon and it airs on Disney Channel Saturdays at 10 a.m. does not mean it's for kids! This handsome guy is the Dream Stan. He uses his prolapsed anus to fly, although if you'll ask him, he's playing in creative mode. Even after millions of years, he still won't admit Dream cheated. I mean, come on, man! There is conclusive proof that he cheated! All right, who's next? The guy who watched The Simpsons back in 1994 and won't admit the damn thing isn't funny anymore. And the next page is blank. Because All Tomorrows has such a vast, deep lore that I haven't yet to explore it all yet. And honestly, it's just too much to condense into a single video. If you want a part two, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below. God, I haven't even told you about the Globlobleings yet. That'll be exciting. I'm Joey Bark, and I will see you tomorrow. Get out! It's over! <laughs>